What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna give you an introduction into angles, along with some basic terms that you should know, okay? So first of all, before we can talk about an angle, you need to know what a ray is, okay? So a ray is basically just a line that starts at a certain point and then extends forever in one direction, okay? And it can also run through other points along the way, okay? So if two rays intersect, they form something called an angle, okay? So here you can see we have this red one and this blue one, and we can give them a name, okay? So we'll say that this is point A, and we'll say this is point B and point C, okay? So this red ray, we're gonna call ray AB, and then this blue ray, we're gonna call ray AC. Now, an angle is what you get when two rays share a common start point, okay? So as you can see, both of these rays have this point A in common, right? So this common point right here is called a vertex, okay? Now the angle that these two lines create, you can think of as this corner right here. Or you could think of it as the space from AC to AB, okay? So ray AC is normally called the initial arm, and ray AB is normally called the terminal arm. Okay, now another important thing to point out is naming convention. So if we were talking about this angle right here, what would be the name of this angle? Well, there's a few different ways you can call it. Okay, first of all, you could call it angle. So this is the symbol for an angle. Okay, so you could call it angle BAC, or you could call it angle CAB. Okay, so it's important to realize that this corner point right here always goes in the middle when you're naming these. Because when you're listing these, you're really just naming the path you're taking to get from one point to the other. So here we need to take path BAC, okay? Or we have to take CAB. So that's the path you take to go around this corner right here. Now, one other common way you can name an angle is basically just by drawing an arc from one ray to the other ray, okay? So there's an arc right there. And then you would just label this using any variable you'd want. Let's just call it P, okay? So then here I could call this angle P. So if I'm talking about this corner right here, I can draw an arc, I can label it with any variable I want, so I'll just put P, and then I could call that angle P. Okay, so these are the three common ways you can refer to or label this angle right here. And you might be wondering, why can't we just call this angle A, okay? Well, let me explain why. Let's say these lines right here, these rays, kept going in these directions. So let's just extend these out. Now, if I'm talking about angle A, am I talking about this angle right here? Or am I talking about this angle right here? Or am I talking about this angle right here? Or maybe I could even be talking about this one, right? So there's literally four different angles or four different corner pieces here. So we could have this first angle we were talking about, right? This first corner. There's this other corner piece right here. There's also this corner piece right here, right? Or we could be talking about this corner piece right here. So that's why we can't call this angle A because there's four different angles in this space, right? So if you call it angle A, you don't know what space you're talking about. So that's why the other way you could do that again is you could draw an arc if you wanted to, right? So we could call this angle right here, right? We could draw, draw an arc and then just call it P. Or for this angle right here, we could draw an arc and then call this Q, okay? We could draw an arc right here again, call this R, and then draw an, uh, another arc right here and call that S. Then this up here is angle Q, this is angle R, and this is angle S. Okay, so again, angles form when two rays or two line segments intersect, right? Now, there's a couple special cases of ways that lines can intersect. So the first one is this one down here, okay? So you can see one line literally is on top of the other line, right? They go in the exact same, they point in the exact same direction. So this is what is called a zero degree angle, okay? So when two lines are completely flat on top of each other, they are at zero degrees. And the degree symbol is literally just this 
little circle right here. Okay, that's the degree symbol. Now, another very important case is when the two lines intersect and one runs completely horizontal and the other one runs completely vertical, okay? This is what is called a 90 degree angle, also referred to as a right angle. And then remember up here I told you you can draw an arc between two lines and then we can label it with, with variable, right? Now, whenever you have a 90 degree angle, you actually don't draw an arc, you draw a square, okay? This is the only time you will ever draw a square. Now, right angles or 90 degree angles are so important, we also have a specific name for it. So when two lines intersect like this at a 90 degree angle, we call them perpendicular, okay? Two lines that intersect at a 90 degree angle are perpendicular. So that's a really important term, okay? So when this red arm is completely flat on top of this blue one, that's at zero degrees, right? And then we flipped the red arm this way, right? And then when it's completely straight up, that's at 90 degrees. So if this red arm, if I actually drew it, let's say halfway between zero degrees here and 90 degrees up here, can you guess how many degrees this would be if it's exactly in between zero and 90 degrees? Well, then this would be at 45 degrees. Okay, so whenever we're measuring degrees, this flat horizontal line is always zero degrees. Okay, and then we normally rotate it in the counterclockwise direction. So then you'd get 45 degrees halfway between there and then 90 degrees would be straight up there. Now, what if we kept rotating it that way? Well, if you rotate it enough, you'd get to a case like this. Now, when your two rays are completely flat like this, so we started from here, right, and then we rotated it all the way around to there, this is called a 180 degree angle, also called a straight angle, and it's called a straight angle because it forms a straight line. Okay, and this red arm, you could actually, I mean, we could keep extending it that way. We could keep rotating this more, and this would be, and then this line right here would be more than 180 degrees. But we're going to stop at 180 just for this video, okay? Now, one more thing I want to mention are acute and obtuse angles, okay? So, whenever you see an angle like this, so remember, the 90 degree angle was right there, right? So if you ever have something that is less than 90 degrees, that is called an acute angle. Okay, so anything that's less than 90 degrees, so something between zero and 90 degrees, is an acute angle. Okay, so again, if I cut it straight between zero and 90, this was, we'll say this is about 45 degrees, right? So 45 degrees is an acute angle. Okay, if I went somewhere up here, this is closer to like 80 degrees, okay? But it is still an acute angle angle. And then the other case we have is called an obtuse angle. And you can probably guess what this is, right? So this is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. So again, 90 degrees was right there, right? Straight up. So if it's bigger than 90 degrees, right? So then this angle right here from, from this blue line, from the blue ray to this red one right here, let's say that's maybe about 110 degrees. So this angle right here is an obtuse angle. Or again, if we went all the way to 180 degrees, 180 degrees is also considered an obtuse angle. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.